This is Dabu7, and I'm about to expose this whole LAX shooting as a hoax and a false flag, as I predicted. In this alert, Urban Shield turns live into a false flag event. This video, October 25th, I knew that they, something was going to happen. Well, not only did it happen, they've come out and they've slipped up in the media and have stated that they were practicing and that they played this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play two different feeds for you. The first is going to show you the supposed suspect, and they're trying to connect him to conspiracy groups. Now, after you, after you see this clip, I want you to think about it. Anybody that's against the New World Order or is talking about the New World Order or anything like that, they're going to be associated with this guy as a lunatic. You see? And they're saying they found notes in his backpack about, you know, the, the New World Order and stuff. And they make a big deal out of it. Secondly, when we get to the speech of the cop, he messes up and says, Today, we played this out. He said, We practiced this for weeks. Today, we played this out. And when he says it, the guy behind him smacks himself in the face because he knew he messed up. You're about to see some amazing footage here that just blows it right out the gate and shows you exactly what this was meant to do. Pin this on people who have a mind frame against the, the New World Order, and you will see for yourself that this is all set up. He's the former head of counterterrorism for the LAPD. John, what have you learned about the suspect? He is Paul Anthony Ciancia. As Carter said, he's from New Jersey, but a lot doesn't emerge. What you don't see is a thick criminal record. You don't see other violent acts. What you don't see is references to him in the FBI files. Yet, what you do see today, according to investigators, is he walks into the terminal. He's got the gun in a garment bag. He takes the rifle out. He opens fire, um, shoots his way through the checkpoint, um, going down a, a side, coming around the back end. He's focused on the TSA agents. Inside the bag, we are told investigators came up with notes saying um, uh, that the TSA were fascists and pigs, um, anti-American rantings, anti-TSA rantings, and references to the New World Order, which is kind of a growing conspiracy group that believes the world is going to be taken over by forces and black helicopters and so on. Interestingly, Scott, today he texted his parents from L.A., to New Jersey and said he was going to kill himself today. They called the police. There was a response to his house. Apparently, they didn't make contact with him, but a roommate who didn't know where he was. So this was something that was roiling in his head today. And as you could see in that clip, they clearly tried to pin this whole thing on a crazy conspiracy theorist. Now, in this clip, it blows it out of the water. You're going to see this chief slip up and say multiple times that they practiced this. And then he goes on to say that today, he goes, we played it out today. What we played out today. He says this. When he makes that statement, you're going to watch the guy behind him smack himself in the face because of his stupidity. Uh, it's a dead giveaway that he screwed up live here on the mainstream media. And we've got it, and it blows this whole false flag out of the water. Practice to this. Not more than three weeks ago, we practiced the exact scenario that played out today. That played out today. We played out today. And I... He says, we played out today. That was the last thing he said. The exact same scenario that played out today. That we played out today. And when he said that we played out today, this guy is like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yep, they sure did. I warned you guys about this drill, and it's exactly what went down. This false flag, he just slipped up and set it right there. And you just seen what this whole thing, this whole PSYOP is about, to pin it against any kind of conspiracy theorist. They, they just associated this man right here with being a conspiracy theorist against the New World Order. So if you think you might by chance fit that category... This is what they're going to start sizing you up to. Somebody, they just executed the supposed shooter in this situation, um, in this false flag event. Because, as I just showed you, 100%, they just slipped up and said that they played this thing out, that they've been practicing for weeks. And they didn't seem to have any remorse for the cop that got shot and killed at all. Give me a break, guys. It is what it is.
Eyes open. This has been Dabu7 with the LAX shooting. False flag exposed.